we're choosing Geomagic Control X. In this tutorial, we will be creating a datum and 3 to 1 alignment. Align the measured data to the reference data by selecting the Home tab. In the Alignment group, select Initial Alignment. This tool can also be accessed from the Context menu by right-clicking in the Model Viewing window, then clicking the Initial Alignment. Initial Alignment is a quick command to register the reference and scan data together. The options are very limited and a second alignment is always recommended. Select the check mark to complete the command. The measured data is now initially aligned to the reference data. Create a datum alignment by selecting the Home tab. In the Alignment group, select Datum Alignment. This tool can also be accessed from the Context menu by right-clicking in the Model Viewing window, then clicking Datum Alignment. Define the datums by selecting faces on the reference data. The measured data may shift in direction as not all degrees of freedom have been constrained. Note: If the faces on the CAD are exact geometry, the cursor will display the entity type. This allows the user to skip a step in having to identify and create planes, cylinders, cones, etc. on the part. Select the check mark to complete the command. The measured data is now datum aligned to the reference data. 3-2-1 alignment is an alignment method using the minimum number of contact points necessary to locate a model in three-dimensional planes. Three points are used to define the primary plane. Two points define the secondary plane perpendicular to the primary plane. And the last single point defines the last plane that is perpendicular of both the primary and secondary plane. Create a 3-2-1 alignment by selecting the Home tab. In the Alignment group, select 3-2-1 alignment. Click Plane, then select a plane in the reference data to define the z-axis. Click Vector, then select the cylinder in the reference data to define the y-axis. Click Position, then select a sphere in the reference data to define the x-axis. Select the check mark to complete the command. The measured data is now 3 to 1 aligned to the reference data. Thank you for watching this Geomagic Control X tutorial. Please like if this was helpful or leave a comment if something needs to be improved.